the neck and report any findings. Palpate the spinous processes of the cervical spine. Palpate the paravertebral muscles around the cervical spine. La, la, la. Have the patient perform active range of motion, flexion and extension, <laughs> lateral extension, <laughs> which you may want to be modeling for them, and rotation. <laughs> <laughs> perform strength testing, SCM and trapezius. That'll sound familiar. You did that a week ago. Test for cervical stenosis, root impingement, Sperling's test. Any pain? No. Oh, we're going to go there. Any pain? No. Verbalize la la la. You guys can read that. Inspect thoracic spine and paravertebral muscles. Look for scoliosis by checking symmetry of height, alignment of scapulae, symmetry of hip height, forward bending. <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> <laughs> so you're looking at the scapula height and then palpate the spinous process. Palpate or percuss spinous processes of thoracic and lumbar spine. Palpate paravertebral muscles. Have patient perform active range of motion, flexion and extension. Which again, you're probably going to model in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> Lateral flexion and rotation. And I like to hold their hips so I can actually see what their spine's doing and not what their lower body's doing, personally. What you don't see is all the grinding that I do. <laughs> <laughs> Verbalize an internal and external rotation of the hip will also be checked for lumbar pain. Perform strength, gait testing, walk across room, walk on heels and toes. This sounds familiar too. Okay, verbalize the lumbar spine evaluation and the strength testing of the hips and knees. La. Test for ankylosing spondylitis. Standing. Schober's test. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Sorry, official. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would expose this again. Identify your lumbar spine at the posterior superior iliac crest. Make a um, marker spot, go five centimeters distal and then 10 centimeters proximal. Have the patient bend over. This space should increase by five centimeters. Chest expansion. You've already done this too. Deep breath. I'm watching my thumbs move. Test for herniated disc or nerve impingement or irritation. Seated positioning. Seated straight leg raise. DTRs. Lying position. Extensor hallucis longus strength. She's just on my big toe. Yep. Straight leg raising. Any pain in your back? Any pain when oh. you do this? <laughs> we'll see. Any pain in your back? No. Say yes. Yes. How about now? Yes. Drop down 10 to 20 degrees. Cross leg. Any pain? Oh, yes. Where? Push down my leg. Which side? My toe. Pinky toe. <laughs> <laughs>